forward and back. Hi, this is Ford and back from Brisbane, Australia. I've got the Liart 7.5 helmet, 4.5 goggles, they come with it. That's a sick deal. What are we doing today? We're going over to the bushes. It made me think about how good electric unicycles are. Just another thing, I mean, let's go through a couple of the things. First, they're small and you can just put them in your cupboard, some of them, or if you've got a big cupboard. Another thing is there's no petrol and you just charge them up and that's cool and you can just get anywhere for free, kind of. Not really free, but cheap. And then there's no brake pads. That's like one less maintenance thing that I think, and it's one less cost. There's no registration. Oh, that got boggy. There's no... What else? Well, anyway, there's lots. And you can list some more in the comments if you really wish, if you want to get right into it. But the point I was going to make is, I get to play dress ups. Check this out, I look like a tool. I look like a squid. I've got all this fluorescent crap on. It took me like two hours to get ready. You see all this? Putting all this on, we've got Liart 3DF 6.0 hybrid elbow guards, Alpine Stars GP Pro gloves, the Liat 7.5 helmet, the 4.5 goggles, Senna 10C Pro camera, which I switched over from the TSG Pass helmet, and what I'll do is run that footage to show you. Also got Liat knee brace, the Z frame knee brace, got some of them on. Alpine Stars SMX boots, O'Neill pants, O'Neill jersey. You know how fucking long it took to put all that on? What are you doing forward and back? You look ridiculous. Maybe I do. Maybe that's what you think. You know, I saw some guy getting roasted on Facebook because he put all his gear on. And everyone's like, dude, that's more stuff than you wear when you go motorbiking. And it was. But that's cool, and he gets to play dress ups. And it's, yeah, so it's good to be prepared anyway. I had a lot of this kit sitting around from my motorbike stuff, so might as well put it on, don the gear. And I'm heading over to the bush tracks, gonna go to a new place that I haven't been before. You never know, might take a fall. And if I do, I've got some kit on. Plus, I look fancy, like a <laughs> coffin. This has got no uh, window on it. It's a windowless helmet. They call that a visor as well. It's a good chance none of this, you know what? Sometimes I come out and I ramble and I might say something good and I might not say something good. And sometimes I say something gold. And then sometimes the microphone doesn't work. I didn't hit record, I delete it. At the moment, I'm just looking at two rolls of footage Really good video, some nighttime stuff, a little bit of shenanigans, and then the Insta360 that I was using has a premium lens guard, and if that's not totally clipped shut, it wrecks the whole footage. So I'm 
I'm going the long way over to a new track. We'll go see what we can find. There's always something fun. It's the weekend. This is the Lee Up helmet. It's good. It uh, weighs a little bit more than the TSG Pass and you feel it. But it's kind of a little more snug. You always get that with the new helmet because the padding hasn't sort of squished down yet. And I know some helmets, it's a good idea to change your padding. I know my showy motorbike helmets, you can buy new padding kits and it sort of feels like a whole new helmet again. But this feels really well built. I've got good ventilation coming through the goggles. I've still got nice vision, but I definitely have a wider peripheral vision with the TSG pass. Oh, okay. Here's a little dirt track. Let's go down here. Sort of train tracked on the roots down there. It's got little roots, and if you hit it with the wrong angle and your tire grabs that, it tries to follow along. It just looks a bit swampy, so I'm just sort of keeping an eye on the track before I come back and hit it a bit faster, maybe. Really, just a bit of an explore today, huh? Watching for sharp rocks. It's how you find out where to go, isn't it, by getting lost first. When was the last time as an adult that you got to colour coordinate anything? You know, like a full outfit. That full tracksuit vibe. What a dick. No, it's cool to be a dick sometimes. Like, it's wrong because it's wrong. I mean, it's right because it's wrong. Everybody does what's right. So just do what's wrong sometimes. <laughs> Stay legal. You know, when it comes to fashion or art, make a face look weird. Draw dicks. I draw so many dicks, but I do it for a reason. <laughs> it's mature. I do it for a mature reason, because I'm an artist and I thought about it. Thought about that dick long and hard. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so like the difference between, you know, being, uh, I think, you know what, as long as you can justify your dick and you can explain to somebody that you thought about it long and hard, just tell them a lot of thought went into that. It's a symbol of power. I wish life made more sounds. I wish there were sound effects happening when you did things. Let's go down here. 
This could get interesting. It's moist. Oh, okay. We'll slow it up a bit. I know there's a creek at the end. A creek, that's called a little stream. I don't know if you call it a creek in any other country. Australia would call it. I don't want the wheel to come sliding down there, skim out and end up in the stream. That's why it's a good idea to get to know your surrounds, I guess, first. And it's all slippy here. You could easily just slide out. Just gonna try to find a place where it dries up. As you go up the hill a bit, it dries out a little. You gotta watch that the corners aren't washed out. I've had a lot of rain. I'm not sure what to do with the V11. It's got a sentimental place to me at the moment and I'll see if I can get any of my kids involved. And if not, you know, I do think I'm probably considering selling it and trying to add a Sherman or something of a bit of a longer range, uh, faster wheel, or just to try something different. Maybe try to add some more content for you all to see on the channel. So as much as I can, I'll try to get new wheels to borrow and test and look at but you know no one's really flooding to send me any and I can't afford at the moment a little plug to the Patreon link if we start getting really popular and I make better videos and some of you are investing in Bitcoin and just like have spare cases of cash feel free to pop some in my Patreon we'll buy a new wheel We'll put it through its paces for the channel. Otherwise, we'll just do this. And that's cool too. Yeah, it's fun. It's good. It's just good to get out and I've had fun again today. Clearing my head. A koala, huh? That's cool. Oh man, I had a blast again. That was so much fun. I don't know how I can fit all that into one video. So that was a good video, I had fun, I'm looking forward to seeing the footage, I hope that the microphone works and I hope that the camera, Insta camera is working this time, seems to be lots of dust and fragments and tried to clean it and it didn't work so the footage could be crap. Thanks for bearing with me while I work out all my technical glitches, again another Patreon plug because it really helps me get my gear in check, you know I don't just waste my money on chocolates all the time sometimes I save it up and buy a new jersey or a new bit of gear to show you all because that way we get to know what um, what gear is like and I get new fancy things to dress up in and I like that it makes me feel slightly special Thanks again for watching my videos. This is Forward and Back, and this is another fun little roll on my wheel. I really did have a ball today, really good fun. Um, get yourself an electric unicycle. I say it all the time, I did. Years ago I saw somebody on a thing, and it was a wheel between his legs, and it was just a brief moment of, huh? didn't even think to look them up or figure out. I, I think I tried to look it up and I just didn't know what to search for. Then, I, I, you know, a year later I stumbled across, I lost my license on the motorbike for going really fast and I needed to get to school. So I checked out a way to um, do the electric thing and didn't want to do the scooter. And that's when I googled and found this. I think, I think it was Chooch or so was saying. Sean, could have been Adam from Wrong Way. I saw one of their videos and that's how it started for me. And I, yeah, I wanted to try to share the same. I like making videos, so that's why I'm doing this. To show you all, I've sold two people on this channel have bought a wheel because they saw this. So that really makes me stoked I feel like I've done my little part it's worth it just for that have a good day have a good night have a good morning enjoy yourself make it a good day have a good roll eat some nice food have a chocolate for me 
This is forward and back. Bye for now. So you've got the little attachment here, which you can actually adjust the angle, which is really good. So on the fly, you can adjust your camera angle. Okay, so I want to set that up. So it's got an arrow and points to the up where you can, but if you wanted a slight angle because you hold your head in a weird position, you can do that. Okay, twist that little lock there. That'll do for now. And then on the back of the center, you've got these two channels and they can just slide down over top. And you know, to pop that onto each helmet, you've got just a little screw clamp. So it's really easy. And there's also a stick on 3M patch that you get. So you can uh, add that to a couple of different helmets in a couple of different ways. From there, you just need to insert got another helmet kit which you can buy separately it's the center helmet kit and I've got that coming so I can just keep it attached to my other helmet and I've also got one on my Shui helmet so I just interchange the camera between different helmets but yeah we'll get out and about and capture some good audio in the Liat 7.5 with the center 10c pro helmet camera <laughs> 